that before the Contraception, Sterilisation and Abortion Act was passed, uh, there was a move in Parliament to stop abortions being performed in New Zealand. And it passed. And the response of women was to organise charter flights to Australia, which went in considerable numbers uh, in the mid-1970s. And that really shamed Parliament into backing down and making it possible for women to access abortion. Who did you look up to for inspiration when you were developing your career? There weren't uh, role models of women prime ministers that were relevant to us in New Zealand. The Indian subcontinent had uh, produced a number, mainly out of uh, old elite families. But who in New Zealand knew about Gro Harlan Brundtland, the Labour Prime Minister of Norway? I did, but uh, it wasn't well known. So in a way you had to create your own path, uh, knowing it had to be possible, but without uh, too many uh, clear precedents going forward is that young women have expectations of being able to do it all. That's what's so exciting about Jacinda and the decision she's made. She's going to have her child and she's going to carry on with the job. I think complementing that, her partner being prepared to be at home as a full-time dad with a small baby. So this is the way of the future. Young people expect to be able to fulfil all their expectations and not be slotted into one or the other or very narrow roles.